First of all, alpha decay, the equations. This is radium. This is what it looks like. So the reds are the protons, I suppose, and the whites are the neutrons. There are 88 and 26 are the two numbers. So there's 88 protons and 226 protons plus neutrons. So quite a few more neutrons there. What happens is a chunk breaks off, as I said in my last video, of um, an alpha particle. Okay, and the alpha particle it all, always is made up of two protons and two neutrons. Now here it's written as helium because helium actually has two protons and two neutrons, just like an alpha particle. But instead of being, being written like that, it could be 4,2 alpha. Because it, these parts are broken off here, it means that what we're left with is smaller. We started off with that and it's broken into that plus that. It's just broken into two things. This one goes flying off at high speed. That one stays where it is. Because now it's lost a mass of four, it's lost four particles, the mass number has gone down from 226 to 222. And the proton number, or the atomic number, whichever you prefer to call it, has gone from 88, it's lost two protons, so it's gone down by two to 86. In other words, this number goes down by four, because there's a mass of four lost, and this number goes down by two, because there are two protons that have been lost. Um, and that's basically alpha. So there would be the equation. All right. So we started off with uh, radium and we've gone down to radon plus a helium nucleus or an alpha particle. OK, this is in your PowerPoint. Beta now, that's sorry, that's just a way of writing alpha decay, because if we see here, a the number a goes down by four and the number z goes down by two. That's all A and Z, they're just random num random letters they've used to denote those. Okay, if we go to beta radiation, okay, so beta is, is an electron that comes from the nucleus, not from the shells on the outside. Um, if we look here, this is polonium, okay, 21884. What happens with beta decay? It's a little bit more odd. Um, because a proton, one of these protons, suddenly decides, sorry, one of the neutrons, one of the neutrons here, suddenly decides it wants to be a proton. It turns into a proton. So there is one more proton. There's the same number altogether, but one of the whites has turned into a red. So this number has to go up. This tells you how many protons. So that would go up to 85. And the 218 number, well, we've got the same, although we've got one less neutron and one more proton, the total mass of this is the same. So the big number doesn't change the mass number. OK. Um, it also ejects an, um, an electron. Electrons have virtually no mass. OK. So when it the, pro the neutron turns into a proton, it also turns into an electron. And the electron whizzes out at very high speed, getting close to the speed of light. That's what beta radiation is, beta decay. So it looks like that, for example, polonium, that's, there's your polonium. The top number stays the same because there's the same number of protons and neutrons together. But the bottom number, there is now one more proton, okay, plus the beta particle. Um, there's another example. So it looks like that. So the top number, the big number, the mass number stays the same. And the bottom number, the Z as they've called it here, is Z plus one, one more proton and the electron has a charge of minus one. Okay, alpha, beta. We don't need gamma because there are no decay equations with gamma, just alpha and beta. Hope that helps. This is in your, in your PowerPoint. Good luck.